Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. ICE agents call 911 desperate for help. Lib cops respond with nasty surprise. I have been watching the violence in Portland, Oregon, growing for some time now. I have a stepdaughter who lives there, and it worries me. I have also written several times on leftists protesting the ICE facility there. They have been outright abusive and violent towards ICE agents and employees, all with the seeming consent of the mayor of Portland, who has told the police to stand down in all this. Just last week, police cleaned out the activist nest surrounding the facility. Protesters had built a wall of their own while decrying President Trump's zero-tolerance policy on illegal immigration, and then after that, ICE itself. Those policies, by the way, have been in place since the Obama administration. Just when I thought the situation was improving, it has taken a nasty turn for the worse. Liberal police had a nasty surprise for ICE agents calling for help. They refused to respond to at least two 911 emergency calls from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, employees inside their offices where violent protesters held week-long demonstrations. That's throwing the rule of law right out the window and violating the Constitution. Police have to make a choice in this battle. They are taking their orders from the mayor and the chief of police regarding this instead of following the law. The union representing ICE employees, the National Immigration and Customs Enforcement Council, just wrote a cease and desist letter to Mayor Ted Wheeler over all of this. They are demanding that the police enforce the law equally and protect innocent people. That should be a no-brainer. Your current policy forbidding Portland law enforcement agencies from assisting employees of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency who request law enforcement assistance while at or away from work is a violation of the United States Constitution's Equal Protection Clause, the letter states. What if a former or current employee of ICE died because of the mayor pulling this stunt? Can you imagine the lawsuits and the outcry? Some of these demonstrators are affiliated with the domestic terrorist organization Antifa. They are stalking ICE agents, employees, and their families. These are violent communists who don't mind hurting others over their cause. They were among those who set tents up outside Portland's ICE offices. They incited violence a number of times while there. Every person in law enforcement knows there are few things as dangerous or as unpredictable than an angry mob, said Chris Crane, president of the National Union. No one could have responded quickly enough to protect our employees who were trapped inside this building. All of this because the mayor of Portland has a beef with the president of the United States. I have no idea why this mayor was elected. He's not just a leftist, he's going to get these agents severely hurt or killed on his watch. The protesters shut down the Portland ICE offices for almost two weeks starting back on June 20. Workers returned to their jobs on July 3. The Occupy ICE camp was officially put out of business on July 25, after more than a month of demonstrations. The area was so filthy from the encampment that the mayor actually called it a biohazard. There was trash and filth everywhere. It was bad. We understand that you have a difference of opinion with the current President of the United States, and some of his policies, but we fail to see why targeting the employees of ICE and leaving them vulnerable to violence. Harassment and even DH furthers a legitimate government interest, Sean Riddell, the union's attorney, says in the letter. Your policy has created a zone of terror and lawlessness. We ask that you end your policy of not responding to calls for police services from ICE employees immediately, the ICE union again demands in the letter to the mayor. We would like to avoid federal litigation, but we are prepared to protect our membership and their families. The mayor and the police are not commenting on this. Yet. But they will have to before long. Since when did it become acceptable for a mayor to instruct 911 and emergency services to only assist certain people and groups? Is this what we have sunk to? Picking and choosing who we protect and serve? That does not sound like America to me. A local ICE officer, who spoke on the condition of anonymity, related the two agency employees called Portland police on June 19 when they were blocked from leaving the building in their vehicles. One of those employees told Portland police that protesters followed his truck to pick up his daughter from summer camp and harassed him in the parking lot. He also said that protesters showed up at his apartment building a few hours later. Again, he called the police, but says no one responded to the call. This area became like a Wild West, the ICE officer said. So, we have gone from lawless sanctuary cities, where ICE is kept out of the loop and is actively obstructed when it comes to illegal aliens to now taking steps against ICE agents and their families. Deliberately putting them in harm's way over politics. This will not end well. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.